Hi guys, today we're going to have a second look at the automated or semi-automated tool changing on the Zero 2 probe mount. So this is designed if you want to uh, change a tool midway through a job um, or through a workflow. So let's envision you were cutting a chopping board out, you had it all stuck down uh, and then you wanted to do some V-bit engraving. And just to show you this in action, that's what we're going to do. So I've milled this, this part here, I'm very happy with it. But what I want to do is chamfer all the edges. The problem is, uh, originally it had more stock on top and the side. So I don't actually have my datum point, which was somewhere around here be uh, before. Uh, it's just gone. So what I could do is try and set Z off the top, but you know, it's a bit messy. It's not necessarily the best way of doing so. So I'm gonna run my tool change macro. Now this has been slowed down uh, to allow me to explain things. Uh, it could be sped up, so apologies for it being slow. Uh, I just wanna make sure I can talk enough and bore you to death with the sound of my voice. So first thing we're gonna do is click on the run macro. And what this does in CNCJS is actually uh, jog the machine to the, um, uh, the point I've set, which is just above this probe block in the mount. So we'll let that do that. Now in this particular cycle, I am using a, um, one of the Carbide 3D ZRN coated end mills, or I have just done. I must admit, it is fantastic. Uh, the one I used is a stub mill. It's 6.35 or one, eighth, uh, sorry, one quarter inch, and I was dead impressed with the quality of it. Um, I mean, really impressed. The surface is, is fantastic, and I've been using them to chew out the rest of the design, and I'm just, I'm impressed. Um, I would say they easily rival the likes of the Datron ones, which are well over double the cost. Anyway, I've got my program and what it's done, it's paused here because I need to do a safety check. I'm gonna check to make sure my spin door is grounded. So I've got my magnetic cable on there and it's grounded now. I'll move that, move that out of the way, Just clear that out and click continue. We're now gonna probe Z. So what we're doing is actually measuring the tool length here so let's focus in on that slightly more he's slow i do apologize for this the bit i'm going to be changing it for is going to be a chamfer mill this particular one is a uh, cheap chinese one i haven't got any uh, particularly great ones can't really see it it's a uh, um how many flute is it free flute and we're just going to see how it is at chamfering. So we've done our probe and now again it's pause the cycle and this is for us to do it again, do our tool change. So it's left itself in place. I'll undo my collar and that. And put my tool back in a container where it's nice and safe. I do not want to wreck that bad boy. I'm then gonna take my 6.3, sorry, six mil, um, end mil, and I'm gonna put him in there. Now, I've got, I haven't got any references or anything. I don't actually know where he's gonna go or how long he is. So I'm just gonna do him up wherever I fancy. I mean, ideally you want to have the shortest shank as possible, but just to ensure your two bits aren't going anywhere. Do him up. Da, 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 da. This is a six mil bit, so it takes a bit more tightening than the six point three five that was just in there. So he's in. He's nice and secure. I just realised you can't even see that. Fantastic, Luke. But let's zoom him up. There he is. So now we're going to click the continue button on the CNC JS macro, and it's gone back to that safe height. So this is where I'm doing my safety check sticking my magnet back on and ensuring that spindle's grounded. I'm then going to click continue and as you can see he probes again. So he's going down and running a little probe. Da, na, na, na. It's Star Wars music. It's kind of like Empire Strikes Back or something at this stage, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's going down, down, down. Mm. 
you can see. It's making contact, making contact. There he is. It's touched off. It's now back to that safe height, at which point it's not going to do anything till I click OK. I'm going to remove my magnet, put that to one side, bring my air hose back, and just pop that so he's going to be able to blow some dust out of the way, and click continue. <laughs> at which point he's gone back to home. So now just to show you what's happened, if I click on um, X, Y, zero, it's gonna take me to my datum. So that hasn't changed, but my Z offset has. So Z date, Z offset, and we're gonna come out the mount a second, have a look at that. It's gonna be around 0.5 mil above. which looks about right from I. I'll show a photo at the end of this to show you the uh, finish and where he lands. Cheers, guys.